Pandora AI, an incredible platform that lets you create professional quality videos with 3D avatars and AI-powered video editing. No cameras, no green screens, and no complex software. Just a few clicks, and you'll have a polished news video ready to upload. I will put the link in the description, just head over there. Once you are on this page, click on Get Started for Free, and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. First, you will find some tutorials about how you can create amazing videos. Here, you will find several 3D avatars you can start with creating your video. At the bottom, you will find some easy to customizable templates. However, let's create our video from scratch. Simply click on the Create button from here. Now we have to select an aspect ratio. I am selecting Landscape. OK, this is the Rendora AI Video Generator interface. On the left sidebar, you will find all the elements. First, you will find all the templates. Next, the 3D avatars. After that, the Generate tab, the Cam Edit, and in the end, the elements. First of all, we have to select a studio for our video. So, come to the Generate tab from here. On the Generate tab, here in the Studio tab, you will find a vast number of 3D studios. You can filter them by category also. Here at the top, you will find a search bar to search for a studio. So, find and select the best studio for your video. I am selecting this one, and you can see the studio has been added to the scene. Now we have to choose a 3D avatar. Here you can notice an avatar that was added to our scene. Now you can come to the Avatar tab from here and replace the avatar. And if you want to design a new avatar or customize this avatar, then click on Avatar. It will redirect you to the Avatar Design Panel. OK, this is the Avatar Design Panel. First, the Outfit. Here you will find a vast library of outfits. Try some of them and then choose the best fit for the avatar and your video. Next, set the hairstyle of the avatar. After that, in the Accessories tab, you can apply accessories like glasses and earrings. Next, come to the Makeup tab. Here you can choose makeup for your avatar. In the end, this is the Facial Feature Editor, where you can customize the facial features of the avatar, like the face dimension, eyelashes, eyes, nose, lips, ears, and others. Once the face customization is done, click on the Apply Face. Once everything is set, you can apply it by clicking here. However, if you want to save the avatar and use it later, click here. OK, our avatar is now saved and applied to the scene. All right, in the next step, we have to add the script of the video. You can write the script manually from here. And if you already have a written script, then you can upload it directly here. However, we already have a new article. We won't directly paste the article as the script. Instead of that, we will rewrite the article using AI to make it unique. To do that, Simply copy the article link and come back to Rendora. Now select the AI Writing Assistant tool from here. A new tab will appear. Come to the text box and type. Rewrite the article and paste the link and then hit the send button. And you can see after analyzing the link, AI is rewriting the article. Once the script is ready, you can customize it. If you are satisfied with the result, click on the Save and Apply button. And here, you can see that Rendora generates four scenes for us. Here in the script box, you will find the script text that is used in the particular scene. Now on the top of the script box, you will find three options, shot, action, and pause. With the shot options, you can set the camera shot of the scene. I won't use any camera shots at this moment. Next, with the action option, you can add various actions like nod, indicate, and various intentions to your scene. To add an action, select the text area. For example, I am selecting this part, now come to the action section and select a precise action as per need. After the action, if you need to take a pause in any part, simply put the cursor in and then add a pause by clicking here. In this method, review all the scenes and customize them as needed. OK, now we need some external materials like images or videos about the related news. You can download all the assets from various sources. Don't worry. As we are making a news video, it will be under fair policy. After collecting the assets, come to the material tab from here. Now upload all the assets here. Once the assets are uploaded, just drag and drop them into the scene according to the order. Once done, come to the voiceover setting from here. You will find a bunch of options. You can set filters to find the best one. Select the language, gender, type, and style. 
Now listen to some of them and then choose the perfect one. Once you find the voice model, click on the apply button. Okay, we are ready to move forward to the next step. To do so, we have to render the video. So click on the 3D generate button from here. It will take some time to render the video. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, our video is ready. Now you can see the preview, and if you are satisfied with the result, you can export the video directly from here. However, I will do some more customization to make the video more captivating. Here in the continue button, you will find three options, continue to go back to the editor page, and the cam edit to edit the camera movement, and element to edit the element. I will go to the cam edit interface. All right, this is the cam edit interface. Here you will find a vast number of camera angles, movements, and actions. To add a new cam, simply select the scene and then select the text area where you want to add the cam. After that, choose the cam from this vast library. Here you will find all kinds of cam shots, including wide angle, medium shot, close up, and others. In this method, preview all the scenes and apply the cam where needed. Give proper time to set up the camera because it will give a professional touch to your video. All right, once you are done, you have to regenerate the 3D assets. Otherwise, you can't edit the elements. Once the 3D video is regenerated, preview it, and if you need more customization, do it to make the video captivating. For time-saving purposes, I am skipping this time, let's move forward to the element editing. Here you can add background music and sound effects, customize the subtitle, add a title or any other text, and add stickers, intro, and outro. Give proper time to customize the elements. Once everything is set, regenerate the video when it is ready. Preview it, and if you need any customization, do it. Once everything is set, hit the export button. It will take some time to render the video. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, our video is ready. Let's have a look at it. Hey everyone. So, there's some big news from Alibaba. They're planning to invest a whopping $2 billion in artificial intelligence over the next three years. That's quite a significant amount of money. Alibaba wants to upgrade its technology to compete better with global leaders. This investment is part of their broader strategy to enhance their AI capabilities. They're hoping this will help them improve everything from their cloud computing services to their e-commerce platforms. The company's CEO, Daniel Zhang, mentioned that AI is crucial for their future growth. That's really amazing. I love it. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. So, in this method, you can make an AI news video and upload it on our new channel. Okay, Rendora AI has made the 3D video creation easier than ever. Not only news videos, you can create any kind of video with Rendora. You just have to select a studio, choose an avatar, enter the script, and your 3D video will be ready. Whether you are a business coach, content creator, or educator, this kind of lifelike 3D avatar can be your friendly presenter, and it will surely increase engagement. And Rendora AI is the best tool to create this kind of 3D video. So, don't forget to try this tool. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience in generating 3D news videos using Rendora AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!